Break your Bible if you have one to the book of Esther. I believe you have Esther in your Bible. Esther is before Job. It's the book you see before you see Job. In the Old Testament. We'll read verse 16 and we'll read verse 19. 16 and 19. Esther chapter 1, if you have your Bibles. Esther 1. Esther. Sister Esther. Chapter 1. Verse 16 and verse 19. And Memo can answer before the king and the princes. Vashti the queen had not done wrong to the king only. But also to all the princes and to all the people that are in the provinces of where? Ah, who's Sarah? So the rest is verse 17, 18, 19. For this deed of the queen shall come abroad unto all women, so that they shall despise their husbands in their eyes, when it shall be reported. The king Ah, who's Sarah, commanded Vashti, the queen, to be brought before him, and she came not. But she came not. Likewise shall the ladies of Persia and Media say to this day unto all the king's princes, which have heard of the deed of the queen. Thus shall there arise too much contempt and wrath. Commandment and let it be written among the laws of the Persians and Medes that it shall not be uttered that Vashti come no more before the king and let the king give a royal estate unto another that is she. I want to share briefly on Memukan. Your time is up. Let me tell somebody prophetically, like you are punching the person, say Memukan, your time is up. Things don't just happen. Things are sponsored and they are provoked. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. The Bible, I like to pick one phrase. The Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. In other words, we are fighting against, but it's not flesh and blood. Now watch me. When that scripture was written, it was written in the Greek. The Greek word against is called pros. Pros means face to face. Meaning, we are not fighting behind the corner. The, the battle we are fighting is face to face. Everyone that must be great in life must understand that the battle is a pros battle. It's a face to face battle. If you don't want to be great, then you can fight in a corner. But if you want greatness, you must be ready to face a battle. But I'm here to tell you by the power of the Holy Ghost that it doesn't matter how many battles you fight, I see victory on your side. It doesn't matter how many battles you fight, I see victory on your side. I see, I see victory on your side. You will not be the loser in the battle. The enemies will not see your back. You will confront your confrontation. You will terrorize your terrors. You will pursue your pursuer. You will attack your attackers. I say 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 you will attack your attackers. Lift your way shot. Yes. Sit down. attention a queen royal personality was removed from office because somebody spoke watch me memokans do not attack commoners they attack royalty and I tell some of you look at me some things you are fighting now some people can't stand it you have been fighting this thing for long because you are royalty you are the one that sees yourself as a commoner. You are not a commoner. You are royalty. Let me tell somebody, I am royalty. Say, I am royalty. Say loud and clear, I am royalty. Say, I am royalty. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone that must be a king must first be anointed. And you must understand that you are anointed. Thou anointest my hair with oil. And my cup runneth over. Am I speaking to somebody here? In Luke 
24, verse 49. Please follow me. The Bible says, Tarry ye in Jerusalem until he be endued with power. Listen, when that scripture was being written, it was written in the Greek. The Greek word for endure is endure. Endure means to put on new clothes. It was says, Stay in Jerusalem till I dress you up with power. Am I talking to somebody here? Stay in Jerusalem till I, I dress you up with power. Someone is wearing power after this service. Oh boy, oh God. I said, Someone is wearing power after this service. After this meeting, you shall be dressed up in power. I say you wear power as a garment. I say you wear power as a garment. Demons shall see you and take off. Sicknesses will see you and take off. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Favor is on your side. God is on your side. Look the one shot fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit up. Sit up. Tell somebody to change your mindset. Please follow me. Tell somebody to change your mindset. Now, my message. Man of God, a, my Mokan was a prince. Not just a prince, he was the lowest prince. There were seven princes. He was the last. But it was the suggestion of the lowest man that got a queen out of office. Why? His words were potent. And there are two things. The first thing that was the strength of Memukan was his mouth. If you study verse 21, the Bible says, And the king did according to the word of Memukan. Ladies and gentlemen, all my life, what I read is that the people did according to the word of the king. But this time, the king did according to the word you don't understand it is people that obey king this time king obey man because there was something in his mouth there are people that will speak to your helpers and your helpers change mind because there was something they put in their mouth somebody shall memuka your time is up Go on. Ay, 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 ay. Sit down. In, follow me. Follow me. Sit down. Sit down. In Second Samuel, Second Samuel, chapter sixteen, verse twenty-three, the Bible says, "Those days, the words of Ahithophel was like one inquired from the oracle of God." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's words when Ahithophel talk. It's like an oracle is talking words. But for the first time, what Ahithophel said was rejected. And in the next chapter, seventeen, verse twenty-three, he said, "When he saw that his counsel was rejected, watch this. This guy was a devil. Look at what he did." What? Yeah, what he did. Yeah, what he, he has deceived others. Yeah, what he did before he died. Bible says when he saw his counsel was rejected, he went to his house and put his house in order. He has scattered many houses, but before he died, he put his own in order. Some people that are helping you scatter your house, they are repairing their house. Some people that are advising you to send your wife away, their wife is still with them. Send your wife away. Walk out of that marriage and she's still in a marriage. I eat so fell. Destroyed father, destroyed son, but prepared his own house. He said, when he put his house in order, he hung himself. I 
prophesy as I am commanded. Everyone that has been speaking evil against you, they shall hang themselves. I don't know. Maybe it is in your office. Maybe it is where you work. Maybe it is in your family line. I don't know whose mouth has been orchestrated to speak evil against you. But I prophesy by the power of God, by reason of this service, they shall hang themselves. I said they shall hang themselves. I said they shall hang themselves. I said they shall hang themselves. They shall hang themselves. Lift up your eyes and shout hallelujah. I know what God can do. The multi-breasted God. The Lamb of God with seven eyes and seven horns. He laid the beams of his chambers upon the waters. He walked upon the wind of the wind as a chariot. He stretched for the heavens as a curtain. He created a barrier between water and land. And said water should not return to land. He's the monarch of the universe. He's my bridge over troubled waters. Yeshua Amashiach. Lift up your eyes and shout hallelujah. Mashatalabakaya. He says, I am for peace. But when I speak, they are for war. The Bible says in Matthew 12, 37. For by thy words, thou art justified. By thy words, thou art condemned. I am here to announce. I reject condemnation from you. I release justification in your favor. I say, everyone who has spoken condemnation over your life, I turn condemnation to justification. I don't know who has spoken condemnation and because of what they said maybe you lost your relationship because of what somebody said out of wickedness you lost your marriage you lost a ministry you lost your pregnancy you lost your job I turn it around I turn it around I turn it around I turn it around I turn it around, turn it around. lift up your eyes and shout hallelujah When you wake up in the morning, you brush, you put toothpaste on the brush. Somebody has put charm on the tongue. They speak with, 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 with diabolic powers in their mouth. How can somebody say, leave your wife? In one meeting, one, not several meetings. It was not adjourned. One meeting. One. You might say, okay, come and go. Memokans, their mouth is potent. They are saying, number one, they have diabolic power. And number two, still on that words, they have convincing words. Persuasion. One time Paul was preaching to a governor and the governor said, stop! Before you turn me to a Christian. He said, stop! He said, you almost persuaded me to be a Christian. There are people with words. Hear what he said. Hear what he said. He said, King, <laughs> you are leading people. If you do not do this, other women, the king was not wise. You know what he did? He said, All that, all that ladies of the princes, he was a prince. All that ladies of the princes who have no regard of them. In other words, King, we are equal. They don't respect you, they won't respect us. A wise king would have said, Are you equating? Have we been made? Yes, but when somebody's under a spare, even the person is controlling doesn't know he's going to a hole. Yes, he was equating himself with a king. Convincing power. Can I shock you? Before Jesus was killed, they arranged the men with words in their mouth. Words lift your right hand of fire, shout it shall backfire. I can hear you say it shall backfire, it shall backfire, it shall backfire, it shall backfire. I was reading my Bible in Luke 23. When you get to verse 20, the Bible says, And Pilate was willing to release Jesus. Verse 20 of Luke 23. And Pilate was willing to release Jesus. Verse 23. The B part. He said, but the voice of the people 
and that of the chief priest prevailed. Prevailed. The voice in Proverbs 18, I believe verse 8, it said the words of a tail bearer are as wounds. They go down to the innermost part of the belly. They penetrate. Am I speaking here? I don't know who has spoken against you. There must be a reaction today. I said there must be a reaction today. Every word that has been spoken against your life, against your health, whether it was diabolic, whether it was persuasive, whether it was satanic, whether it was arranged, I am here to make a prophetic declaration. That word lose its power. I said that word lose its power. That word lose its power. Lift your hands, shout it. Yes! Number two. Sit down. I told you his words were potent. Number two. Ladies and gentlemen, listen before you write that down. When you are a queen, you are a queen for life. People, royalty doesn't have tenure. Royalty is not an elected office. When you are a queen, you are a queen for life. But Memo Khan was the first person that brought an idea that legalizes illegality. Number two, the power of Memo Khan is the power that legalizes illegality. Remove the queen from power. Remove the queen from office. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not what was legal. There are many things that are going on in our lives that according to the constitution of God's word, they are illegal. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 36 and 37. Verse 36 says, to subvert a man in his cause, the Lord approved not. Verse 37. Who is he that saith a thing and it cometh to pass when the Lord to be due from marriage and single is illegal. To have a husband and daughter have a child is to, to be a graduate without a job somebody holler illegal. In Psalm chapter 7 verse 11 The Bible says God is angry with the wicked Every day Every day Isaiah 57 21 There is no peace I am here to make a decree Every illegality In your life The power of God shall legalize it Anything that has been illegal By the power of the Holy Ghost the God that I serve shall step in, turn it around in your favor, and God shall establish legality. I say, shall establish legality. Sit down. There are people, if anything happens to them in church, it is the church that has shaken. Because they are very, very relevant. Ladies and gentlemen, when you get to a critical situation, engage all the names of God.
Can I go on? I said, can I go on? I said, it's not over to the end. My situation is final. You have got the final say. I don't know what part of you has been eaten up in the cavern. I am here with a heavy duty on to make a decree. Whatever belongs to you that has been swallowed up, I command them to vomit it. I command them to vomit it. I said vomit it. Your marriage vomit it. Your job vomit it. Your job vomit it. Your finance vomit it. Somebody said vomit, vomit, vomit. And they assemble the body. I told you, life does not give you what you desire, it gives you what you demand. Your sense of value is the flow of virtue. When you, re- when you allow life to drag on, ladies and gentlemen, life, life, let me put it this word life is programmed to be mere words in the air. It is demand that gives the word its melody. It is demand that gives them melody. Songs are mere words. What made them songs are melody. You must have the understanding that nothing just happens. They are provoked. Illegality has been established in homes. 35 years single. Illegality. 42, 43. Ill- I'm telling you wickedness that I've seen under the face of the earth. People assist people and their doors close. Just assist for assisting somebody. His own door closed. Now he refused to assist, they kill him. So which one will we do? Am I speaking to somebody here? I was praying and the Lord whispered something to my ears. He said, son, he said, we live in the finest hour of the church. This is the finest, the most privileged. The Bible said, the last day, the mountain of the lost house shall be established on the top of the mountain. He said, but only those with a demand mentality. Will be, now watch this. Watch this. Those with a demand mentality will be established on the top of others. Now he said, the house, the mountain of the lost house shall be established on the top of other mountains. So in destiny, there are people that will be greater than some. Some, some compose the song and some sing them. Some are king makers and some are kings. Words that we have spoken out of a word. Isaiah chapter, Psalm 140 verse 11. He said, let not an evil speaker be established on the earth. Lift up your right hand of fire. Say, my father, my maker. Every illegality in my life and destiny. I didn't hear that. In my life and destiny. In my life and destiny. Be frustrated. Be frustrated. Be frustrated. Be frustrated. Be frustrated. Be frustrated. Sit down. Follow me. What? The devil we are fighting against. Listen, listen. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Watch me. Watch me. The Bible says we are not ignorant of the what? The devices of the devil. If you read that Bible in Greek, when it was being written, the word device is called neomata. Neomata. Neomata means victimizing strategies. Victimizing Satan as a syllabus. When he said we are not ignorant of the devices, he was saying we are not ignorant of the syllabus of wickedness. Victimizing. There's an agenda the devil has. And the agenda is to cause victimization. If you escape this, you can't escape this. If you escape this, you can't escape this. He has already mapped it. Number three. I came to pray for us today. Are you ready? Number three. The Bible says the 
queen was called out. I'm telling you the, the, the weapons or the accessories that Memu can use against the queen. The queen was called upon to show her beauty. The king was proud. He had a beautiful wife. So when his friends were seated, he called his wife. Come out and show yourself. Turn around. Turn around. Do a 360. 360. You know, 360. You know, I hear people say, that, oh Lord, turn my life 360 degrees. That's bad English. When you say turn your life 360 degrees, when somebody turns 360, it means it will return back to where it started from. So when you say turn my, wife, my life 360, I say, Lord, take me back to where I'm coming from. So when you want, <laughs> the right English is, Lord, turn my life 180 degrees. 180 takes you opposite of where you are coming from. So when you say 360, 360, have you seen the compass? It starts from a point, it goes round, and return the same point. That's 360. So you say, oh Lord, turn my life 360 degrees. I say, Lord, take me round and return me back to where I am now. So when you are saying, turn my life 180 degrees, you are saying, let it be opposite of what I am now. He was saying to the queen, turn around, do a catwalk, do a catwalk, take some strides so that my people can know that I've got someone that's pretty. That was the day. Now, for your husband to call you to do something in public, it must have been something you like to do in secret. When they're in the room, that's how she would turn. You must say, don't worry, come and do it in public. That was the day she got angry. And refused to come out. Now that it was a refuser that Memukan banked upon. God told me three things. Three things. And I'm going to run through them very fast. Number one. When you think you deserve a privilege, it is pride. She was not the most beautiful woman, but she was the queen. It was a privilege. But that day she refused to come out because she thought she deserved it. When you think you deserve a privilege, it is pride. Number two, when you worship anything God gives you is an abuse. When you start worshipping, rather than worshipping the giver, you are worshipping the substance. It's an abuse. Number three, it was the king that sent for her and she refused. Whatever make you have no regard for authority is a misuse. Who said to her? The king. But her beauty got into her head and she refused to come. Number four. In those days, when the king sends for you and you don't come, you are dead. If the king does not send for you and you come, you are dead. That was why Esther said, let them fast for me. Probably the king might want to kill me. But they fast and pray for me. When I go in there, the king will stretch his scepter. So, if the king does not send for you, you are dead. But if the king sends for you and you refuse to come, you are equally dead. Number four. Anything that makes you forget repercussion. Anything that makes you forget repercussion is your end. Your end. It was on Vestry that opened up. Memo can capitalize on her weakness. Ladies and gentlemen, 90% of wickedness is a function of the weaknesses of the victim. Can I say that again? 90% of the practice of wickedness is a function of of the weaknesses of the victim. First John chapter 5 and verse 18. We know he that is born of God sinneth not. For he that is begotten of God keeps
keepeth himself. He said, and the wicked one tortured him not. Why? Because he keepeth himself. In Ephesians chapter 6. Am I giving too much scriptures today? Ephesians chapter 6. If you read verse 11 and 12, I want to pick one word. He says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles. The what? The wiles. I want to say this. I hear this in my ears. This night, someone will get a message from home. Someone here will get a message from home. You are going to hear that tomorrow. Someone in this place, there will be a reaction from your hometown. Sit down. He said, we are not ignorant of the wiles of the devil. Now, the Greek word, can I go on? That scripture, now, why I use Greek at times is you will get the original intention of the writer. The Greek word for wiles is called methodos. Methodos means a road. Listen. He said, put on the old armor of God that you may stand against the wiles of the devil. Methodos, a road, means arm yourself so that you don't give the devil an access road into your life. So Satan does not come until there is going to attack is because you gave the devil methodos. So, Vashti gave Memukan a what? Methodos. A road. A way. Are you unmarried? Are you sick? Are you diseased? Are you destroyed? How did the devil come? There was a way. There was a way. A young girl was not married, so she decided to fast and pray in the University of Lagos. She was doing a master's program. She was fasting, praying, fasting. Two prayer points. Number one, Lord, use me. Number two, Lord, settle me. She was praying, 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 praying. So she was pressed to ease herself the second, day, the second or third day. And when she went to use the restroom, as she opened the first one, hmm, she shut it. She opened the second one, hmm, she shut it. She opened the third one, hmm, she shut it. And she walked away. And the Lord said, stop. Many times, my daughter, your prayer and fasting has opened your door. But I cannot come in because you are too dirty. So just the same way, you open the door, you can't go in. You see, you have prayed many times. You say, but Anger can in that prophecy. Pride can in that fulfillment of prophecy. So I thought, I thought, I thought the person prophesied. I thought they said this was going to happen. The flesh, materialism, can hinder the fulfillment of prophetic utterances. Am I speaking here? Listen, I didn't just gather us today. Just to pray, prophesy, I will go. I want you to live here with a substance in your spirit. A road has been opened, an access way. 